Hi crafty friends, this is Mary and this is my Thrifty Thursday collaboration with Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. So today I have a haul and this haul contains some stuff from a local antique store and also a thrift store in a nearby city. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's start with the thrift store first. So um, at the thrift store I found some of these uh, math edu cards, I think they're called. And these are really neat. I've gotten some edge cards before. I've got them in the Go Fish game and they were really cool. So I also found them in these flash cards. And I think that these were like 20 cents. So um, let me take them out and show you what they look like. So all of these things were really great prices. But aren't these neat in the hot pink? And then like the hot blue color. So I thought that these were very cool. Looks like there's some writing on a couple of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even comes with the instructions. So I thought that that was a neat find. And I plan to use those for junk journaling, of course. Gosh, if I ever get to it, I keep planning on doing it and then um, things come up. So I need to get to that. And then I also found some of these subtraction flashcards. Let's see what these look like. Oh, these are neat too. These ones have like a red color on them. Looks like they're all red. Very cool. So they have front and back. And I also got this game, which is very neat. It's called Take Along Quiz 3 for ages 7 and up. And we actually played this at my mom's house for a little while. It was a really fun game. Let's see, it looks taped, but it's not. I'll read you some of the questions and see if you know any of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'll read you six of them. Whose nickname is Bones on Star Trek? That would be Dr. McCoy. Other than Saturn, which planet has rings? Uranus. Who was the Democratic nominee for vice president in 1984? Geraldine Ferraro. Which weighs more, a baby blue whale or an elephant? A baby blue whale. What are Emmys? television awards, and lastly, where is the caboose found? At the end of a train. So these like little quiz questions are very fun, you know, just like if you're in the car or just bored. I just think they're very cool. So I picked those up. They were only 20 cents too. I think all the cards were 20 cents. I love this thrift store. It's run by the um, parent-teacher organization in a city around me. And then these ones are the Mickey Mouse educational card games. They're edu cards too. And this one comes with the instructions as well. And I'm not quite sure how to play this game, but I'll have to look at the instructions and see. And I'm not sure if it even has all the cards, but um, they look very cool. So yeah, I got that game. And then what else did I get there? Other than cards, huh? I got this 23 hour diner pack. I thought that these were very neat. Open almost all night. Very neat to be used in a journal. And also these triple Yahtzee um, scorecards, 80 scorecards come in here, and these were 70 cents. I also found these. These were a quarter, and it looks like they're just like little instruction booklets 
for the um, General Electric Deluxe Hair Dryer. And look at that, how old this one is. Isn't that cool? So I picked that up just to use as ephemera. And I was so excited to find this book, the giant um, little golden book, Frosty the Snowman. And let's move these out of the way for a minute. So I can show you some of the pages. Isn't this so pretty? It says, Merry Christmas, Erin from Grandma and Grandpa Bailey, 1975. But I just love the illustrations in here. This is from 1975. Aren't they gorgeous? So I was so excited to find this book. Love that one. And then I think that that was all that I got from the thrift store. From the antique store, I found a bunch of baubles, all of these antique ornaments. There was a couple that I've showed you before, like I've showed you this one that I found at a estate sale and these ones I found at an estate sale. But I think the other ones are all new from the antique store. And I'm going to use these to make a space themed um, wreath. And I think that I've almost gathered enough like um, Christmas balls. I think I just need to get a couple more unique ornaments to put on there. So I think that I'm getting there with those. But aren't they pretty? I just love these ornaments. I just think they're so gorgeous. So yeah, I got those. Oops, one of them went down. He's okay though. And then I also picked up these poinsettia um, napkins. I love those. And then I was looking for vintage wrapping paper and I found some good ones. Look at these Santas. I thought those were so pretty. And then on the back side, you've got the bells. And then this one got angels with the wreath. Oh, sorry for the glare there. And then the bells and the ornaments. And then I found these Santas and these are really cute because they come with the tags too, which is nice. And then this pack has a bunch of different ones in here. So I'm going to open it and show you. Got these pink deer, which are so cute. I love all this vintage wrapping paper. And then these little kitties, look at that. I just got a couple small pieces of this, but so cute. And then I actually found this paper at a estate sale around me too. So I have some of this. And I think that this is in my shop too in some of the vintage um, kits that I have. And then I got this wrapping paper with the birds and the grapevines. And this with the houses and the horse-drawn carriages. This is really pretty. I got a good bit of that. Then a little bit of the flowers. A really little bit of that one. And then this one's so beautiful. I love that with the waterfall and the ice skaters. I just think that's so gorgeous. And then some poinsettias. So I thought that was a good deal. I think I got all those wrapping papers for like four bucks. So that wasn't a bad deal. <clears throat> Sorry for my throat, friends. And then I found this book of Cinderella. I love the story of Cinderella, especially this one. This is one of my favorite versions of the story. This is the Rand McNally Elf book. And this one is from 1951. Nope, sorry, 1956. Need to get my numbers right here. And this is such a gorgeous book. I just love all the illustrations in here. The fairy godmother. And then I love how at the end, I'll show you the end book. 
Cinderella was as good as she was pretty. She took her sisters with her to the palace, and there, after their tempers and manners had improved, she married them to two fine gentlemen of the court. So it was a happy ending for everyone. I love this story. So I got that book, and I also found this big giant golden book, The Gingerbread Man. This has a little bit of writing on it, but it's still very cute. Tammy had to write her name on the pages to make sure everyone knew it was hers. <laughs> it's 1963. And look at this gingerbread man. He is so darling. It's a very cute book. And there's the fox. And there's the end papers. Such a cute story. And then I love this puzzle. Look at this puzzle. Isn't that so cute? I can't believe all the pieces were there, but it's gorgeous. So I was happy to find that. And then also I was happy to find this to put into junk journals too, Santa's Fun and Games. And it has like um, different coloring pages in here, color by number cotton ball Christmas card, a little drawing lesson, holiday hang ups. So they have all these different pages in here that you can put in junk journals. So very cute. And what else did I get here? Move this over and put the bobbles back in view because they're so pretty. I did get this book. Um, it's called Pack of Fun, the only scrap craft magazine from December 1969. And this one's pretty cool. It's got all these different craft ideas in here. Santa Claus is coming to town. Candy cane claws with straws. Lollipop tree. Isn't that cute? Oh wow, molded plastic ornaments. So they just got a bunch of different ideas in here and I thought that this was a really neat magazine, especially for us crafters. Sort of the start of crafting, you know? So cute. And I also picked up this, this was a little expensive. It was, it's the Baker's Famous Chocolate Recipes, but I love collecting these little pamphlets. Um, this one's especially neat. I love all the color photos in here of all the different cakes and treats. Chocolate sponge roll. Chocolate upside down cake. Oh, yummy. So I just loved this one. I had to have it. Looks like some of the pages are sort of falling out there, but it was worth it. And then lastly, I think this was the last thing that I picked up from the, the store. I'll move these out of the way again. Um, I picked up the complete Christmas book, Everything for Christmas, How to Give, Entertain, Decorate, and Celebrate. And this is so cool. I didn't even look at the cover. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's green and red, how pretty. But look at the inside. It's got all these like red and black pages. So this is very cool. I just loved this book and had to pick it up. I think it was like five bucks. So a little bit more than I normally pay for my books, but I just thought it was very, oh, look at this lady. Isn't that cute? So neat. So yes, again, this was my collaboration of Thrifty Thursday in collaboration with Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. Please check out her channel. She is such an awesome lady. I love to buy stuff from her Etsy shop too. Um, and uh, give her some crafty love and please subscribe and like my channel. I would love that. I'd love to have you guys around and um, love you guys. And until next time, see you later friends. Bye-bye.